Are y'all ready for BET? All greetings on behalf of Mayor Jim Suttle, who unfortunately could not be with us today. But I am Stacey Henry, and I serve as his liaison. Now, therefore, I, Jim Suttle, Mayor of the City of Omaha, do proclaim se September 2nd, 2010, as BET Wrap It Up Day. We have an obligation to each other. We have an obligation to be real and keep it real. We also have an obligation to understand STDs and what they do and how they can affect us long term. I am so proud of all you young folks that took some time to come out today and to hear this powerful message. Let's get this party started! Ladies and gentlemen, your moderator, for the BET Wrap It Up campaign, comedian extraordinaire, the man, the myth, the legend, it's Mr. Joe like We are here to, to talk about HIV, AIDS prevention, and empowering the students and all of those things. So why don't we get straight to that? This brother is an urban kingdom artist. He's on No Compromise Records label. His hit single is called Best Friend. Give it up for T1. I dropped out of high school at the age 16 years old. The first time I ever laid down with a female, I had a baby. It was my first time ever doing it. And I knew I strapped up. I knew I was strapped. Well, long story short, got the test. It was my baby. I just want to tell you, but in the, in the midst of it all, by the grace of God, I have nothing. I took my first HIV test with me and Jessica. We went up together, got our first HIV test. I have nothing. You know, I'm clean, clear. And this brother's first single, I Like It, came out in 1999. His second single, You Should Be My Girl, came out in 2006. Y'all give it up for Sammy! let y'all know fellas that every female in here is a queen she's a princess you need to respect her and treat her as such because I, I'm, a, I'm a guy you know what i'm saying i'm an r&b singer i get a lot of ladies i gotta carry myself too and have some self-respect and some self-love so i don't get caught up in the, in the in the world of sex and stds and catching hiv and aids i don't want to die uh any any sooner than god is calling me home so i feel like guys we we need to start respecting ourselves a little more and catering to these young ladies a lot better and um I feel like I should share that with the dudes. I contracted HIV the first time I ever had sex in my life. So one day I was a virgin, and the next day I was positive. So for me, I mean, it happened because I got raped, and that's how I lost my virginity. So, I mean, it's not one of these things where you have to have sex with a whole lot of people. It really, really is. Just like pregnancy, just like any other STI. It's just, it's one of those things where you can get it the first time out the block. It's been so many years since I got infected with HIV that I really didn't think I would be here this long. I 
am raising a son that I now love but that I did not want. He wanted and he left it. I had a life. I had goals. I had plans that required one person. Just me. Now I have almost a three-year-old son and his dad is nowhere to be found. Something to think about. Um, the main thing that we want to do is educate everybody about being honest and communicating because my thing is if you cannot talk about sex, if you're having a hard time talking to your partner about sex, that might not be the avenue that you need to take. If you are engaging in sex, if anybody is engaging in sex, you have to be willing to go all the way to protect yourself. When I was 13 years old, I had a scare. Um, a really close friend of the family, I called her my cousin, she died of AIDS. And that was the first time I ever knew what AIDS was. As a matter of fact, she um, transmitted AIDS when she was 16 years old. And she died at the age of 23. Um, we didn't have panels like this at my school or people talking to me. I had to see firsthand of a close friend of mine that died of AIDS to find out what AIDS was. You gotta wrap it up and you gotta be responsible but have love for yourself and self-respect for yourself. But at the same time, you know, it's okay to talk about sex. It's okay to be able to talk to your partner. It's okay to be able to you and your partner for y'all to go get tested. With one person when you leave it. If you stay focused, if you stay loving yourself, and you do not allow anybody else to speak your purpose or to pull you in directions in which you know you're not really to go in. We have some of the most alarming statistics in the country, right here. The thing is that when we have 4,000 cases every year, we know that for every case we know about, there are three to five more cases that we don't know about.